Oh, okay. Here we go. So I like that dog. We got the bat. Oh, he's saying sorry. That's the uh, <laughs> the the culprit who brought the the Wuhan uh, flu. He's saying sorry. How funny is that? So we're on our way to UBC. Down to trail three. No. We're not here yet. But we're getting closer. <laughs> Whatever. Hold on, hold on. You put that dumb globe. It's in the bag. Oh. What did you say? I said where's the globe? <laughs> the dumb globe. Exactly. So we're gonna do a good video today exposing the dumb globe. Here. All right. Greetings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings. Today we have the uh, craft stout and it's nitrogenated. So, we're drinking some nitrogen today. And I got my assistant today too. Check this out. <laughs> my assistant knocking the camera over. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, okay. There you are. You gotta back up, dear. There's my little assistant. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So it's very simple. She's going to hold the globe. And we're going to spin it. See? Spinning on the axis. It's the Corona 19 hoax hoodie. And there's three little ones on the back. Now. If you take this ball here, pretend that's the sun. Can okay, hold that up high? You're going around like that. That's the same as you being on the globe and the globe is taking you around. But we're not going to talk about that. That's all globe heads know. Hold this up here. And we're just gonna talk about the merry-go-round spinning. Okay, you see this ball here? Okay. I can't see. I can't see! Well, you'll see. You'll see when it's done, dear. Fine. Okay. And hold this thing. <laughs> My assistant had to walk down 396 stairs. So, anyways, let's just get to the video. Um. Ah. Well, you know what? It's so simple. All I want to say is that no material can spin like a top. Like you saw that, you know, like the fake globe does, like a top, 1,000 miles an hour without destructing. It'll destruct way before that speed, okay? So think about that, all right? 
no material. Oh, what's earth made of? Basalt, okay? Some kind of glassy whatever rock thing. And that's under all the oceans, and that's most of the earth. And it's cracked all over the place. And the plate tectonics are underneath that. And that's like some molten thing, apparently. They're like elastic too. So it's really messed up. The whole thing is cracked. Well, there you go. The globe is done. A cracked ball with zero tensile strength can't spin at all. Okay? Can't spin at all. Um, that's a huge point. So that, you know, if you want to pretend the globe is a solid, okay, somehow gravity makes it a solid or what, when it doesn't, then I don't know. <laughs> then uh, your, the tension, okay, hold on. The tensile stress required just to spin, like let's say you take one of these hoops and we're going to spin it 1,000 miles an hour. You need 215,000 PSI, okay? It's just not going to happen. Okay, that's the minimum. Then when you add all the weight of the ball, that's a force multiplier. Well, the behemoth cracked up globe you're going to generate centrifugal tension in there uh, trillions of PSI. So no material has that amount of tensile strength, trillions of PSI. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. So there it is. The globe is done, period. Just on the fact that the behemoth is cracked, can't spin a broken object, but you want to pretend it spins because all the globe religionists, all you guys believe, dogmatic assumptions okay of your cult you never bothered to think hey let's apply some engineering to this basalt are you kidding me 1900 psi tensile strength when you need 215,000 psi just to go a thousand miles an hour it's not going to happen okay and then factoring in the weight like we said it's trillions of psi all right just not going to work okay nothing Titanium, 63,000 PSI. There's no material anywhere near 215,000 PSI. So the globe is done. Like I said, it's going to be a simple video with the biggest beard yet. And she says, I can't cut the beard off, right? No. <laughs> you got to say it to the camera, no. Should I cut the beard off, dear? No. That's it. And that's the end of the globe. So this is the after show. <laughs> Cheers, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, yeah, I'm liking this beard. And uh, this is the tooth selected for me. And uh, what can I say? So she says, aren't you gonna drink that? And I thought, yeah, of course, I haven't finished the beer. How could I turn the video off so early? It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> so yeah, we could just review while I finish the beer. Um, it's actually really good beer too. Oh, full marks for this, craft stout. Full marks, nitrogenated. Okay. So this is the point. Um, no material can spin like a top a thousand miles an hour. But you said that already. Dude. Yeah, I did, sweetie. <laughs> did you call me dude? Yeah, I did. Because no material can spin like that without exploding way before that. So you're going to tell me you got this ball made of dirt and basalt? And that's going to be able to go a thousand miles an hour? No way. And then you're going to tell me the air sticks to the ball? You're on glue, okay? No, you're sniffing glue or, you know, you're doing crack or something. That's it. The ball is cracked. Okay, it can't spin. It's got zero tensile strength. <laughs> it doesn't take two brain cells to understand that, okay? And I left a comment on uh, Smarter Every Day's channel. His video where he fired out the baseball at almost the same speed as the globe spins. He, he fired it out at 
1,048 miles an hour. I think the globe was around 140, so pretty close. And man, you just, pff, believe me, if you were standing on a ball that's going that fast, you would know, okay? You'd be breaking uh, the sound barrier, okay? Nothing would be left standing. Don't buy that BS that gravity prevents it from flying off. It might look like that mathematically, but it doesn't work that way, okay? You're still going over a thousand miles an hour and the air is, is not going to be stuck to the ball, okay? That's a dogmatic assumption. That's religion. And the cracked ball, it's not going to be spinning. Again, a dogmatic assumption. That's religion, okay? And basalt? Are you kidding me? Again, basalt's not, got almost no tensile strength. 1900 PSI, you need 215,000 PSI just to spin a hoop, okay? A one-inch hoop at that speed. All right, it's not gonna work. No material has that strength, okay? And then you factor in the weight. That's a force multiplier. You need way more than the tensile strength of the material to go that fast. It's just not possible. That's, you're beyond the limits of physical reality. That's okay if they come, all right? The globe is beyond the limits of physical reality. It's beyond science, it's pseudoscience. Yeah. So, we've got some people coming down. I'm going to say hi to them. You know, it's making a YouTube video. I'll tell them we're making a YouTube video. That's all. Hey, guys. It's making a YouTube video. Yeah, hey, I'm doing like a hot channel. <laughs> yeah. Rockets Push Off Air Channel. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there you go. You see? <laughs> Promoting the channel. I got to get cards made. But I really like this. You know, in fact, she was the one who designed this. We were working on the computer together and she picked this font for the outside and to put this in the middle, okay? I actually had this font for the letters on the outside initially and big fat letters in the middle. But then I couldn't print that design. It was at Make in Granville Island. Oh man, they, they believed the the hoax so badly and I just said well I gotta take my business elsewhere so I opened up a store at uh, truth dot style that's it that'll take you right there <laughs> you can't get a better name than that so yeah this is great you know we're just it's gonna be Christmas soon a few hours I guess yeah. another guy Merry Christmas hello a walking robot talking to his phone with his earbuds. Okay. Yeah. So you want another review? Very simple. Here's my challenge to all the globe believers, believers, <laughs> all the Christian globe believers. Oh my God. You guys are out to lunch. There's this one channel, Inspiring Philosophy. After I left a comment on his channel correcting him, boy, oh boy, he cranked out a video going, first time ever going live, ask me anything. Ask me any question. It was on his video about the age of the earth. He thinks it's old, you know, when it's obviously young. But anyways, um, yeah. And now there's another guy on there who's a pilot who was agreeing with my comment all the way until the last sentence where I said the earth is flat. And, you know, he's challenging me now. And so I have to make this video to tell him and everybody, okay? No material can spin a thousand miles an hour without exploding, okay? Even she gets it from the first time. You just have to tell the kid one time and she knows. She's wondering why I have to say it so many times. Okay, it's because of you guys, all right? Just like they do at school on the blackboard. They write the same thing over and over and over. Okay, you write it down on a piece of paper. Write down, these are your lines. No material can spin over a thousand miles per hour without exploding well before that speed. Okay, that's the sentence. You write that out a hundred times. Okay, 
period. It's just not going to work. And then a smaller sentence, you write out, a cracked body cannot spin like a top a thousand miles an hour. It can't spin at all. Okay, cracked body cannot spin at all. Okay, we're done. Yeah, just about done. A little bit left. Uppy. She wants Uppy. Uppy, come over here. Come, 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 come. come. <laughs> She's a little tired. We somehow she couldn't sleep last night. So And I couldn't sleep last night either. For some oh for a few hours anyways. I just woke up around after one or so to get some water. And she kept waking up and wanting water. And so, you know, she's a little tired now. You're slipping me. Hmm. Sorry, dear. Hmm. I think that's it, dear. I think we're done. I just have a tiny bit left. And, oh. <laughs> okay, and we're going to head back up 396 stairs. It's a good workout. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I had the best helper today, ever. So glad. So yeah, that's it, you know. Uh, we're gonna start doing some live streams, I think. Just for fun. Get out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the end of the video. She watches uh, videos and when they finish the video, they always put the, they close it with the hand. <laughs> she knows that one. Is that it, I guess? Get out of here. Okay, so, here, go ahead. I said no more, Wade. I can't see you. You're dumb. I can't see you. I said you're dumb. <laughs> oh, her hat's all sideways. Yeah, so I think we'll call it a wrap. That's a good one. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. I wonder how this looks. I don't know, I just thought I'd make a record of that. Come on, Wayne. Thirteen stitches. Oh, that's another story. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Again. Merry Christmas. Remember, no material can spin a thousand miles an hour without exploding well before that. <laughs> that's it. And that's the end of the globe. Down to the beach. So many but you love stairs, right? Yeah. Even nice and wide, you can jump. <laughs> wow, there's even a bench. Yeah, little benches for sure. Wow. Help people along the way. Yeah. Joggers. A lot of ferns. Feels like a jungle. It is. It is a jungle. Yeah, it looks like one. But where are the yeah. monkeys, dude? Where are the monkeys? The monkeys? I don't know. Hi. Her first time down. 
I'm sorry. It's her first trip down. Oh. Yeah, she loves stairs, so I said, I know oh, a place there's like over 200 stairs. So. <laughs> yeah, there's like 396 steps. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. More yes. than I thought. Yeah, but yeah. the view down there is pretty too. Yes. It's, it's pretty worth it. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. See, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Merry New Year. Merry Christmas, thank Thanks. You. Wow. Wow, 396 steps? That's absolutely nuts. So many huge stairs now. Don't go backwards on the stairs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Where's so we? we got some nice friendly people yeah, here. This is uh, just an awesome place. I love it. It's just so, just out to nature and I was going to shave the beard off today, but you know what? Should I should I shave the beard off? No. See, I can't. Now I have to keep the beard, and I like it. I you actually... look nice with that on. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Yeah. So the beard stays, and she picked out a nice new toque for me, since I lost the other famous striped toque. Look, this is like so many stairs. <laughs> yeah, it is. It sure I is. Oh, up is the best part. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've got a video for you today. Um, it's not even going to be long. We had you. Yeah, yeah. I usually use that path. Excellent. Good idea. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll take the stairs. You take the little path. So many I stairs. Even see the top. Yeah, and there's birds there. Yeah, you can't see the top. Where are the monkeys if this is a jungle? <laughs> the monkeys? Well, they're probably. I don't they know. Maybe. be sleeping. No, no, no. It's too nice of a day. Monkeys always have fun today. Wow. Monkeys oh, the beard's there? all right. It's, it's the it's biggest not beard not I've ever there. had. You're so not patient. Okay. Stairs. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so. Wow, there's so many stairs. Yeah, I haven't been filming in a while. Uh, because of uh, certain, uh, a reason. <laughs> and um, anyways. Uh, we got a lot of filming to catch up on. I know. Come on. I just don't want to go up. <laughs> oh, going up is going to be the best part. More stairs. Yeah. How many more stairs into the bottom? Oh, quite a few. So I'm wearing my famous uh, Corona 19 hoax tank uh, hoodie, which I think you've seen in other videos. I'll probably show it off at the end of this one too. And, and we're going to the beach. Don't forget that. Yes, we are. We're I've, going. We're I've going. never been on these stairs. And, uh, uh, I still see so much stairs. So many stairs? Yeah. Finally, we're coming to an end. Yes. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Yeah, coming to the end all right. Yeah. Where's the sand? Uh, the, the sand is actually all the way to the left. We have to go to a different spot for the sand. This one's just all rocks. Cool. Yeah, oh yeah, it's really cool. There's a place up there you can climb up. It's way up there. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. We'll have to run down here. Yeah. There it is. We're at the beach. The beautiful flat horizon. Look out tower over there. 
And now we're just going to think of a place where we're going to film and we'll fire this thing up in a minute. You hoser. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody's having a really nice fire over here. Just so you know how lovely this place is. You can see the fire right there. Try to get some flames in there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, dear. Hehehehe. <laughs> 